Hello everybody and welcome back to Dickie's Videos where no war game remains unplayed. Without further ado, here we are with Pack and Shot Campaigns and another rendition of the English Civil War, The Cornish Revenge. I'm having my pasty right now and we are going to be facing not against the Scots today, we're going to be facing against the uh, general parliamentary forces uh, and hopefully fly the Cornish flag high for the Royalists. I, I don't know, I love playing Royalists. Dissolve Parliament one more time. And without further ado, let's see what we can have. We've got 469 points. Oh, we've got a nice map here. So, the Cornish Cornish Revenge. That's what I want to start calling it every time I play a Cornish force. So, currently we have six bloody Royalist Cavalier units. We've got four Pike and Shots. So already we've got a good infantry sections. We're going to have some separately deployed Cornish Pikemen. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting battle. Uh, veteran Cavaliers, uh, and we'll have some, ooh, we could have some cannons, uh, Pike and Shot mix, so they're not, they're not, uh, rec f raw recruits. 130 points left, we could have some, uh, Musketeers, which would be quite cool to have, uh, we'll do some really good shots, 16 points, I think we might, ooh, take one of them squads off, so we could have 4 and 38 points, oh, New poorly raised, don't really want newly poorly raised. We'll have a we'll have a medium gun, I guess. No, we can't, we've got thirty eight points. How am I gonna work this? Just dragoons then. And fourteen points left. That's fine. So Cornish versus the English well, it's English or English anyway, so but it's it's people from the south versus people from the north. Yet again. All right. Wow, what a bobbly bloody map. Um, okay, so let's look at our cavalry. So we've got cavaliers galore. We've got enough to do two flanks of cavalry here, which I'm happy with. So they're in there. We've got loads of musketeers that are going to uh, give good covering fire and hopefully give some good disorder against their uh, infantry straight away. Mm -hmm. So everybody else is going to form the line. On the line. Oh, I took my cannon off, didn't it? Well, that makes it easier, really, more than anything. It makes me a mobile force. So there we go. We've got the Cavaliers, Cavaliers, Cavaliers uh, to the right. And Veteran, Veteran, not Veteran, Cavaliers. And the other Cavaliers. And then we've just got Cornish Pike and Shot all the way down the line. Plus a screen of... We'll put the Dragoons on the right. Screen of Musketeers. All right. For King Charles... I see a lot of forces there. They've got a light gun. Ooh. Cavalry galore on that left side. Cavalry galore on the right side. Got some raw. Let's have a quick look at the edge of the Pompidou Force. Wow, how much cavalry do they have? Uh, God, they've got a lot, a lot of pike. Not, not very much pike and shot, so. And they've got some commander shot to the left. To the right, sorry. So I think I'm going to just advance and hopefully form some sort of line away from this um, thing. So I'm hoping we're going to be disordered on there, so we're going to have to come off there. The problem is I cannot beat that cavalry in the open. Um, so I'm going to have to hopefully bait them in a little bit. And then take them on the hill. So what we've got on the right, they've got one, two. Weak cavalry on the right. It's just that left where they are absolutely just scary. That's turn. Easy turn, really. We planted the hold the high ground, um, so that's the main thing. That cannon will start bombarding me at some point. And we have volleys time. We're gonna have a bit of a shooting match against these light troops. Oh, we're one point out away, unfortunately.
Yeah, I will get absolutely smashed on that front if I go in that open. I'll make a decision to actually ignore this wood, go around it and sit on this hill. Hmm. They're staying there for now. Cannon away at the musketeers in the front. And he's advancing. That's what the commander shot. So we're going to have a little bit of uh, a skirmish fight to the right side. I'm tempted to charge some of these cavaliers down to go and clear one of these units up. Let's bring one of these to the left, to the right, so we can actually get gain superiority there. Mm. I think that's going to be turn. I don't want them to be shooting my cavalry up like that. Cannon away on the light guys in the centre. Ah, oh, disruption. You buggers. They're getting cocky. The only way to probably catch these shot guys is to charge the dragoons in who are wounded, let them stay in combat, and then charge in after. This is the only way to catch them. Just like that. And then I'm just going to have to annihilate them. That was the only way to catch them. And we are going to pepper them there. Mm hmm. Get this cavalry into position for the counter charge across that plane. Need a rally on that Dragoon unit now. I I'm glad we're massively advantaged. I'd be upset if we weren't. Bye! Have a nice day. And the disruption I wanted. I'm just going to pummel that unit so badly. That's what I wanted them to come in that open so we could turn around and shoot that cavalry up. Ho oh, ho ho, they went. Now, hopefully, all this cavalry will not be baited forever to this right side. And they broke as well. Couldn't win any better than I wanted that right there. So, I think these guys are going to go onto the lower plane these guys here. Alright, so let's turn these around. A hundred, how can they not shoot? Oh, we'll see if we can command them next turn. Well, they decided to shoot me rather than charge. These guys seem to have rallied. Are not chasing farther. And here comes the main line. Until that cavalry advances on the left, I don't particularly want to commit too much in the open. Here comes the cavalry. That's a lot of lot of cavalry on that left. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 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 
Oh, we've got some clubmen. And we're getting out shot on the left, on the right side. Oh. Oh, you're going to be stupid. You're going to get that. I feel I'm going to have to advance this centre line. Oh, did I fire full arc there? I hope I did. One of them out of range of getting shot up. If I hit this unit of raw pike. Okay, we're not ready just yet on this left side to charge the cavalry down. Let's hold a turn or two. I don't think they got a rally because the percentage went back down. Oh, yes, that's what we want. Easy wins. to rally this cavalry on this right. Oh. Now the cavalry's going to get punished for that move. I think the time to charge is very, very soon. Mm, looking for a break there, I'll be happy with that. I think they broke. And they did. Broke. And disrupting them. Hand rallying them. Fanta. That was brilliant. That was turn around and shoot you in the face. And these guys disrupted it. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, let's shoot these guys. Yeah. The charges look like here. 21, 25. The veteran ones. They're the veteran in there, aren't they? I don't know. Go for it then. Let's have a laugh. Need to put them here. See what happens to them next turn. Well, these guys can turn to the left and shoot cavalry. Oh, let's have a laugh then. Pikeman, there you go. All right, was the pipe maybe coming down? And I think that is turn. Not much can do against them there. Oh, 
That's unfortunate for that Cavalier unit. to charge next turn, I think. The rally gun fire in the word, we're still not doing very well. And that's why I wanted that rally on the right. Okay, let's see what shenanigans we can pull now. That one for sure. And of course them at them. We won, but not really. Right, these guys are gonna turn around and cause some aggravation next turn. Are these gonna turn around? No. Fifty four, let's have a laugh. I just make something happen on that flank. How many men they got in there? Four hundred and seventeen. Can't see anybody. <sighs> yeah, but we can move these aside and we can do a volley here. Oh, but we can't move. Well, it's going to be a hard mark. Let's turn. Ah, oh, brilliant. Fragmented. Then Pikeman charge across the field. And not to break. Oh, nice. Two, two charges. That's three charges over. The uh, raw pipe in. We're going to start breaking this right side. Weak, weak on this right side. Mm. Oh, we actually won that. Are they veterans? Nope, just the Cavaliers. Uh, ho ah. Enemy problems greatly disadvantaged. Oh, that's where it's going to go wrong. They're greatly advantaged. Unless we can change this up, they're going to lose. Ooh. Oh, they got off. They kept whooped. They decided to charge my pipe unit. It's sad to say the cavalry on the right is too far away. Oh, so we've lost something here. that fragmented unit on the right these guys must go. Oh must be these. Yeah they're off. It's a big hole in my flank that is. No they stayed.
Supposed to know which unit broke. Uh, Surprisingly, not them. Oh, thought something would break. Oh, it was them who broke. That was it. Mm. Oh, I can't command them still, which is slightly annoying. Alright, okay. Who can we shoot in the face? Sad to say, nobody. That is long range, isn't it? Yeah, we'll move forward and have some boys. We'll shoot this uh, raw pack up. And these guys can't charge or do anything particularly productive. But if he's break, he fire. Yeah. I can charge in here. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> that was a really bad thing to do. Means in the combat phase, I think I might win there. Break. Oh, they rallied. Fortunately, combat's here that I expect to win. And we did. Looking for some overcharges, though. Not bloody pursue. Yeah, they're gone. What's going to happen? Broke, bro. Mind to that. Oh. Auto break. He's stand still as well. Can't really complain there. We're on the hill though, so we've got an advantage. I said to say that cavalry unit's in a bit of a area. And finally, sorted. through gunfire they've got fragmented. Mm, at least some of their cavalry units are now charging away and not affecting the battle in that way. Oh, brill. These guys are going to get in trouble soon though. Is would we get flank charged? And they're not disordered or anything. Ah, uh, so don't know what to do there. These guys are still pursuing. These guys are still pursuing. Let's just try and shoot these off the board. Oh, I don't want to get in flank charge, that's all. I think I'm going to have to do that. Yeah, that was a sound move. 
think doing that, I think I would have got charged and it would have been... It wouldn't be worth it. Yeah, I think that was the best move. These guys may die horribly. Brilliant. Auto break. Any cohesion? Disruptions left. Fantastic. So something ill effective for the next turn. There's no way I can support these just yet, though. This cover is going to cause some issues here. Oh, they overrun off the side. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. And they don't charge the pike. They can call the pikemen. Some charges here. <laughs> Cannons blowing the crap out of the Cavaliers. The cavalry that's pursued is starting to rally on the left, and that left bit down there. Finally, hopefully these guys can last a few more rounds. Clubman, nearly gone. Yeah, they're going to... Oh, actually, you know, considering they're getting beat, they're still staying there. All right, let's see. Okay, so first of all, let's shoot these guys up. Go for the charge. the charge here for it worth it as well. Yep. Fantastic. And whew, particularly not worth the cavalry charge. And these guys can finally turn around. Um what Scott can this cavalry do? Nothing. Let's turn around. Turn this side. Advance up. Turn this side. Mm. Well, it's going to fall in the face. Oh, we're going to skirt around for a few turns, see if we can draw him away. The cavalry's in a bit of trouble. Club one gone. Brilliant. Expected they to turn around. That was their cavalry. Oh, there's a fragment of troops going on the right. Oh, no, I can do about it. That cavalry seems to fall back, but we're going to get a good break there, I think. Disruption. We've gone to 19. 
I think we've lost here. No. Okay, let's break some of these little boys. Thank you. Is that an overcharge? Please, yes. <laughs> Bad day to be them. What the charge be here? Eight sixteen. Twenty six, yes, please. Why is that such a difference? What's the difference between these two? Difference. The size of the unit, maybe? Maybe these guys move up here and then we'll, we will go, they will go and take them on. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> that couldn't have went any better. I even considered that a charge now because they can't charge me. Oh, we lost horrendously. And the pikeman will not turn around. But we will get a little bit annoying and send these right in that flank. And who is not in combat here? Actually, we're all in combat. I would have liked to charge them. But, sort of retreat out of the way. See what happens, see what he does next turn. Turn these around. And back to the lines. Turn. Surprising, not a drop in cohesion. A full back's good for them there. Oh, these guys are finally starting to cripple. Don't think I've got time to save them. Oh, double whammy. Oh, nothing I could do about that. They're fragmenting the uh, musketeers. Bugger. But was having really bad situations there, didn't they? Oh, wow, that's a lot of breaks. But also for them, they're at 55%. They didn't go. Who's going to go? It's the cavalry. Disrupted. An auto breaking finally. I'm gone there. Uh, yep, I expected that. And victorious, the Cornish stand once more. So, really good there, gents. We did so well. So, I think one thing I'll do differently is on the right side. I should have maybe put a few more units there. But, regards of that, victory is in the hand of the Cornish pasty lovers. And, fantastic. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And I shall see you on the next Battlefield, wherever that may be. And, bye-bye.